Yo, 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 what to do, fellas? It's your boy C Black representing. Tonight, we're gonna do a beat tutorial for the song I produced with Lil Berlin. It goes by the name of One More Night. I got you guys waiting for this tutorial video for a while, but I finally found some time to do it all in once. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, make sure you turn on the notification bell and subscribe, leave a comment. Yo, I would really appreciate And yeah. One More Night is out now since about, I think, two and a half to three months and it striked on YouTube like pretty hard. The fan base um, love it. Balil got some fr um, great feedback on it. I love it myself. It's one of the favorite songs I ever did with Balil, I have to admit. But we got some more things in the kitchen, cooking it up and new songs coming soon. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow the channel and yeah, leave your support. All right. People, let's start it like this. I use, as I told some people already in the previous, like some people have already checked it out in the previous video, I use Ableton for recording and for the producing. The mastering, sometimes I use Pro Tools or sometimes I even use different softwares, depends on which producer or mastering engineer I'm collaborating with. So yeah, it's always about different, different tools to get a special, special sound out of it. What you can see here, for example, this is my favorite synthesizer for all the, um, like, that's what, what I use to start up the song. It's called Spectrosonics Omnisphere. Um, I bought this thing, I guess you can download it somewhere with, for a free version and stuff, but I bought this thing for around, I think, 400 bucks. Wait, let me get the box. It was around 400 euros. Um, before I was using a cracked version, but after my system, my previous system cracked down, I would advise you guys, buy the stuff, it's worth the money, you're just gonna spend once, uh, like a little amount, and then you got it for a lifetime. So I would suggest you guys to buy that stuff. It really makes sense, there's so many sounds inside, it's such a great tool. I've been working with it for like, I think over four years now in total, and yeah, as I said, all of my nearly all of my beats start with this stuff so let me get right into it as you can see i already prepared the session here um i i'm not gonna lie i started with the chords and for the chords i have a special trick i'm gonna show you because i was always practicing around playing chords and since i never really like played um, piano from a small uh, from a young age I use like the helping tools which made me create the chords. I can hear when something is right, but I'm not sure afterwards um, when I create it myself if it's right. So I got this little tool called was it um, Captain Chords. If I put it in right here, why you won't come up? Captain Chords. And for example, here you can just um, enter the key which is very important for all the producers who are new the key for the notes is very important and as you can see the speed for this uh, song was 106 bpm that's very important too because of what kind of bounce you want to create what kind of vibe you want to get to the whole thing because you can use the same drum line slow it down or speed it up and it will have a totally different vibe to uh, the outcome so for back to the chords I was using this Captain Chords and I generated like my chord progression. As you can see here, you can just play around and you can have your different um, type of chord progressions. You can play and switch around here and you can do all that stuff like uh, feel free when you do that stuff. When it sounds nice, it's dope. Just make sure you can hit the on beat for the start or sometimes even you can just start from here and make it like an off beat kind of rhythm. But that's up to you guys. For this One More Night song, let me delete that out. I can show you the chords because you can just, after you program the chords, like the, the MIDI progression, you can just drag it up to a next lane and then you'll end up with something like this. And as you can see here, this, um, I guess it was G minor because the lowest one was G. Yeah, I think that's, that's the main, the, the, the lead tone. So as you can see in the Omnisphere, I was using the Tiny Smith synthesizer. I played around with it for a little after I dragged my chords. So you can, I'm gonna let you hear, listen to this. Sounds familiar, ain't it? Yeah. 
Give me that, give me that one more night. Yeah, that's how it started off. And this plugin, like I said, you can play around with all those um, buttons, squeeze them to make it more like wider, closer. You got holy pie effects on the effect racks. You can add up to four lanes of synthesizers on top of each other. For here, I just used one. And you can see what I've done here is just like a little echo on the sound, a reverb, a compromission, like a compressor, and the Selena sound because I really like what the, what it does to the sound. And as you hear already, it already like when it comes up, it already sounds dope. On the lane itself, like after the synthesizer, I always put a equalizer with a low cut. Here I put the low cut on around 93, 94, it depends, you can play around with that. And at one kilo kilohertz, I was making a little break inside because sometimes it's that's frequencies who hurt your ear when it's too bright sound or something. Yeah, and this this is just about the main start about the chords. The way I do it right now is just like I'm gonna start up with the chords, then I'll open up my next magic 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 plugin, which goes by the name of Arcade. I guess yeah, people have heard of it already. This is like the shit. Yeah. You can just play around with it. Where's my keys? This is for all the vocal chops. If you want to have this tiger like taste kind of vibe, you can try out with this um, with this plugin Arcade. Um, I bought it. But it's not like it's like um, you gotta pay monthly, and I think I pay around 10 euros, like that's like 10 US dollars a month, and it really makes sense. Like every new beat since I have this, got this inside because you can just fill up the spaces, make something easy, which, which you feel like there's something missing. You can fill it up properly, like really properly. I would really suggest you guys get this the Omnisphere and the Chord Maker. If you got those three plugins. Your melodies will sound whoa. All you need to know, the, the keys, as you can hear, see here, you can set the keys right here, G minor, as I had it, and here you can just play around. You make it. Reverb and all that kind of effects. Every, every setup got its different effects, so you can just play around. There's so many setups inside here. You can check out here, like, just amount the amount of vocal chops and different kind of variations the pro um, program is bringing to you. So let me play it all together with the chords because that's how I started. And you see the whole time there's nothing but then... Yeah, you remember that? And it's the same, I put a low cut, but here I go more... In the direction of I went until 750 I don't sometimes follow the rules I just feel like the way it sounds nice the way I'm gonna leave it because sometimes for the beat producing you shouldn't get trapped into the mixing too much because that's a job for after you know like once you have the basic of the beat done the rhythm like it's already flowing then you can um, go back on each lane and kind of find the right mixing but that's another process so today it's mostly about producing and getting things together the next lane which was actually given most of the vibe already is the uh, arcade again and i had this polytone and I, uh, I just found a guitar wait this is still the, the vocal i gotta switch the lane and you can hear like this arcade got so many stuff inside it's unbelievable unbelievable what you're gonna find inside there kind of stuff yes and that's exactly where I got like whoa if I play this together now and as you heard right now out of three instruments three plugins I already made like the main base of the melodies and I was already like whoa this already sounds crazy um, I'm going to keep on going, keep on going, so I'm going to show, this is just the intro part where I had this. And then there is the next one, what did I add next? Chord synths. I added up some chord synths, 
I, um, I actually just repeated the same chords what I played previously for the thing. I just put them on beat, not off beat as they were before. I made them on beat. So you can hear right now. Yeah, for me to create that atmosphere. You can see the chords right here. This is for the intro part, like the, the, um, the pre, pre verse part and for the for the outro and for all the kind of where i want the beat to go like a wave like open up like a big wave um that's what i used so in the intro sorry i forgot this one there's still a pad and for the pad i used what did i use again omnisphere again as you can see omnisphere ha has the sickest sounds i use the organic rose gentle and noisy as you can see here and I, play, I always play around, I never leave them like basic, sometimes their basic is already like pretty dope but it's still like mm, all the sounds, you can change them so much and what, sometimes you just push like a few buttons around and it already sounds even more epic than it did before, so check out this for it to have a little like this rapping cloud, cloud rap kind of vibe into it so let me play all those main start instruments that I played here it was the the chords guitar vocal and pad and now the synth chords is joining give it the kind of Hollywood Miami you know whatever kind of pipe but it just sounds like whoa fancy and nice then the pads are coming in As you can see, that is already actually main parts of from the melodies. I got I did a lot with the drums, which I'm gonna come to later, but this is already like the main parts of the melodies. Um, yeah, let me skip to the drums right now. I hope you guys can keep up with me. I know if there's some starting producers out there, so I'll say there. If you need like any help with some productions, hit me up on Instagram. I'll um, put my Instagram profile down in the description and I'm free to work with anybody so just link me up and I can help you with your production if you need some help like some advices and stuff because remember say I'm in the game since 10 years now and I learned a lot in these times especially in the lockdown times I had so much time to just um, prepare for the after lockdown and I was like yeah we're gonna get this my my producing skills up I'm gonna invest before I, before the lockdown I have to admit I did everything cracked on until some part it was all right especially to build up some basic skills that was good but to be honest my system got crashed and i lost all my important files it was a big hustle to get them back and i would advise you guys if you got the option and if you have a little money aside buy the stuff buy it once and have it forever you know what i mean like even if the system is going to crush here and i buy a new laptop or whatever i still got all this stuff here even the arcade is, uh, we, um, is with an account, so you can just log in with your password and everything and you can get it right away. It's, it's not going to be the same hustle as if you get the cracked stuff and then you're losing it. All right, let me skip to the drums. People, the drums is something special because everybody knows drums from the beats and everything. But here is like the, the single lanes of the drums. So I know I always start with the snare to give the rhythm a touch. Where's the snare there? Play it, man. Oh, sorry, wrong lane. Yes, now. Basic African rhythm. When you play with the kick, it's just gonna be like. Oh, the bass is inside too. So that's like the basic Afrobeat kind of rhythm. You can hear with the kick. I learned that from my daddy actually, I have to be honest. My daddy was a drum teacher, so I got this rhythm. I never had so many issues with rhythm and finding the on beat because my daddy was a drum teacher and he like teach me that from way back when so it was like in my blood from start and 
Afrobeats is pretty similar when it comes to some drum patterns to dancehall or to even reggaeton. It's just that the drum sounds that they use might be different. But the rhythm actually is most of the time, like not most of the times, but a lot of times it's like the same. I always call this, the way my daddy called it, murder she wrote kind of like this bam bam rhythm kind of thing. I know this little girl, her name is Nancy. Her pretty is like a bunch of roots. Yeah, let's skip that. Um, yeah, next thing I added up, shakers. I gotta admit, the shakers, I used some samples, as you can see here. Let me zoom in for you guys. I used some samples, but I chopped them up because there were some parts of the samples which I didn't like so much, and there were some parts where I was like, yo, this is dope. So I was like, sorry, this is two lanes already. That's the first sample, which is the pink one, which you can see right here. And then I added up the second one, which is the full uh, uh, shaker loop. I can advise you guys, there's some shake, like real nice sounding groovy shaker loops in the like, um, in the drum kits, which you can get for free. But if you need some real, 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 real stuff, this is the app I would, um, recommend for you guys it's called splice you can find all kind of stuff there for producers like loops as you can see here 808s with a real nice quality not like some 20 times converted and stuff you can find guitar loops and to be honest once i was checking through spice uh, splice i found some hits like major major league hits which were actually just copy paste from here and they actually kind of just put their own vibe on top of the the sample and all of a sudden uh, they put a great artist like tiger and shensia the blessed um and yeah it just turned out to be one of the major major hit that you it came out so like guys i was compromising myself as well for some times like nah don't use this this is not self-made no that doesn't matter you just use what you want to use and once it works that means you did something right you know what i mean like once the song is good and people love it no matter how you make the song it you did the right thing so just for the motivation as well all right back to the shakers let me because actually the drums i would call all the percussions and um the snare but the kick for example i do it after like i i put the pattern in but i do it after for the mixing and stuff because kick and bass has to flow together otherwise you're gonna have problems with the bass bass on top of bass means no bass i learned that in sound engineering school so like there's like it's killing itself bass when it hits its other, each other it hit it kills itself so you gotta know which frequencies how to put it out so now people this is where we were shakers and snare so now i can check what i did here percussions there's just some simple things with the afro you can see To get that kind of real Afro groove inside, make people dance with this. Pretty simple. You have to know that don't make your drum lines too complicated because if people should love it and feel like, wow, this is dope, it gotta be simple though. People love simple kind of music. It has to, has to have a groove. That um, don't get me wrong, it really has to have a groove. But simple sometimes is more better than complicated. Then the chant. You have heard this like this uh, vocal chant in several kind of Afro songs already. I love it because once you work with this vocal chant, it really makes you go fast into the um, like into the Afro vibe, especially when you have this kind of drumline and you add this up. You're like, "Welcome to Africa, people." So let me check you, uh, show you where I got this from. I think I got this from, yeah, the JEB Afro Swing Kit. And then just go to Vox and then when you hear this, I just pitched it up a little bit because, wait, wrong lane, wrong lane. Why is, you see, here, that's how it would usually sound, but I just put it up because I was like, yeah, I need it a little bit more higher, pitch it up a little bit. Uh, 
Next thing was on top, the congas. Congas, um, I patted, like put them in the rhythm myself, so it was just like... Tribal drums, just add a, like search. I got like a lot of different tribal drums in my drum kits right here. And I just search for the right sound that I want and then I'll just add them up in the rhythm I want. The rhythm is sometimes with the tribal drums the most important. Not too much, less is better than much. Here I just have a reverse crash for all the bridges from one bar to each other. So it's just like... You have this kind of sweeping wipe so when the loop is coming to the end, before the next loop starts, the next bar starts, it's just gonna have like a little attention maker, like, you know, coming in like this. I love this kind of sound, that's why I was like, I'm going in deep in this. Um, I have a brake clap. As you can see right here, basically just makes the end of the, I, I use it on the one, two, three, four, on the 8 bar at the end I always make this kind of break because people shouldn't have the full drum loop running all the time. Sometimes they need a break from the drums and the instrumentals for the vocals, even from the artist, to come out even more. I hope I'm explaining it clear enough. I hope not too detailed for you some of the starter producers, but I know when I was starting I had so many questions and I want to make like... I want to answer, I wanna answer my, the own questions I had when I was a starter, you know what I mean? So what's more inside there? Percussion bell. You see, like, uh, I start, um, you can see here, here's the basic loop. And then here there's another stuff, like some more percussions coming in to add up after the half of the verse, there should be some things adding up. This, as you can see, the groove is very dope, but I gotta admit, I got this from Splice. I was just checking this somewhere and I was like, yo, this shit is dope. So I just added it up. And you can see, there was not, there was nothing created like complicated, but the thing already has a groove. And that's what even Basil said, was like, yo, this beat, it has such a flowing groove, it's so nice to hear it, you know, so like, yeah, because it's not complicated, it's nice and smooth with a nice groove. So let me play, this is actually the drum section. Of course, I added a crash at uh, the start of some bars, as you can see here. This is a crash, it's just a sample. Regular crash, you can use whatever kind of crash you want. I like this 808 kind of crash um, to have the electronic sound inside. So let me play the drums. I got this all together in one group, so for the mixing it's gonna be easier. And you can see since there's no kick drum, I go with a low cut with the equalizer until like 170, 166. the tribal drums they really make it sound nice so next up I added the kick like like the kick was already inside but then I chose the kick and I went to the Afrobeat um, drum kit I had and which one I used Afro uh, GEB kick 8 because it's a short and spicy kick because people sometimes think you want a lot of bass you want to do something like this no this is something for like hip hop or for some some slower type of beat I would use this but for something like the where the bass line is like tuk, 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 tuk. use something short and spicy so what I did here bass, this was the easiest line is uh, when it comes to all of those so we got the drums here the kick here I'm gonna mute the bass for now because the bass was a different kind of story because especially in this song the bass is very kind of groovy so here let's stop the recording as you can see that's already like feels like right I'm riding Kenya right now celebrating right in Somalia shout out to all the Somalian people by the way um, anywhere you're from, big up yourself, love all, all over Africa. We gotta unite, you know, tonight we're stronger. 
Um, so yeah, the next thing coming up, uh, that's already it from the instrument. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. There was some special parts, like I have the basic beat, like this coming on. Let me play it all together, what I showed you now. As I said, the melodies are already dope. Then the, the drum line gotta be groovy and really make you dance by itself already. are coming back man i love this beat when i finished this beat i was like calling balil right away and i told him like yo dog i got something special for you and as soon as i sent it to him he was like yo bro this beat wallahi <laughs> when he said wallahi i already knew yo this is gonna be a hit because yeah I, we don't play games yo shout out to my man balil by the way and uh, yeah so let me show you some more stuff i just let it come with this like this was the main beat I had and then actually we recorded this um, song in Berlin in an apartment which was like pretty just to st um, start up to move people moved in and we just had a room and I was like it doesn't matter because I'm gonna show you guys real quick as you can see I got the Apollo this is some pricey kind of sound card but to be honest I got the extension with the with the satellite to have more power but I didn't even carry the satellite it was just the Apollo with me and for recording I would suggest you guys to get this Apollo it's kind of pricey you can buy and find it used a little cheaper but guys I promise you you won't regret it all the things that I was like mm, hesitating to get them at, at first I was like yo after I got them I was like no it was definitely worth plus you're not paying like once in a while you're gonna just pay once and then you have it and you're gonna be satisfied for at least five to ten years with it and you can work with it and you're on top notch level with your quality so for all you guys in america and stuff get the apollo if you got some stronger eye right, but for for this kind of price i think it was like around a thousand bucks with some plugins yo get this apollo every big artist is working with that kind of stuff right now so we recorded the vocals and the vocals was like, yeah, all right, there's, especially in the, in, the, in the chorus, there was something missing, still for me, from the instrumental part. So when I added up, when, let me add some little, but little vocals. You can hear it now. I mean, I gotta admit, this is already the mixed vocals, the way I mix them, so... Then it sounds different when they're raw. I'm gonna show you afterwards how you're gonna mix um, vocals pretty fast and pretty easy with one preset, and it's gonna work out for you guys. Um, and I added for the for the chorus, especially for the "Give me that, give me that one more night," I added up some saxophone because um, right now the horns, saxophone, trumpets—they are very much into Afrobeats, and they give you the kind of special chilled out but still dancey kind of vibe so what i did was for this no lie i used the arcade different kind of set man but always the same key always remember that once your melodies is on g minor for that part you can all like you should use only g minor if you have a bridge where the whole song is kind of changing from the chords which is especially in some traditional songs it can happen um you can change up the the the, the chords and the, the key but this the key here like g minor in most of those afro beat songs it usually stays one one key throughout the whole song so even it helps you because after you when you choose in the auto tune you don't have to search for the right key in the auto tune you're just gonna put their g minor and it's gonna be the right key and if you it doesn't touch right you gotta change your keys what you're singing but as I said, this um, this song has G minor from start to the end. So this is the chorus right now. I showed you all those lanes, man. It's not complicated. This 
It's a, like a guitar when somebody's playing. Since I can't play guitar, I'm actually I gotta admit I started with drumming and I'm like good with rhythms and drums. But the, all the melody stuff, it took me a while for me to figure it out. But here, as you can see, I used the arcade again, and I used the I put their G minor, and I just found one button, which was already pretty dope, super dope. And I was just like, since it's not like a main melody, it's just like um, a support melody, I'm gonna add this up in the chorus, and this is what it sounded like. This together with the saxophone and the chords, nothing more needed. So when I add, um, put the drums and stuff, let me mute the vocals for you guys to hear it clearly. I gotta admit, I love this beat. Um, and I guess you love it too, because the reach was totally crazy. I love the feedback. Uh, I read all the comments on Balil's page. Yo, guys, love you so much. Keep supporting my guy, Balil. Remember, so we're gonna drop some more, more music for you guys. And here, what I used for the... Um, um, let's come to the bass side, because I didn't explain the bass yet. So the bass... Um, I wanted to have this live bass kind of sound, so what I used is arcade again. I found this um, bass line kind of stuff. There's there's different kind of stuff on, on here. Oh, sorry, why is not playing? There's something on solo. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But at the end, um, all what I used was again, I think like one or two lanes. Yeah, you can see here, like it's the same thing repeating. And then... And as you can hear, it has that live bass kind of sound, like somebody's really playing with the, with the bass guitar live. And I love that, especially for the Afro kind of thing, which is should sound like kind of acoustic sometimes. Depends on what kind of um, beat you're making. Um, I was like, this is perfect. For uh, But this is the verse part, which um, makes you, like where Belid is saying, Sorry, I, I still don't speak Somalian, but I love the melodies he's bringing and I trust him when it comes to the lyrics. So yeah, that part, um, let me play for you guys. Just I, I can now even separate the, the lanes and just let you listen like give me that, give me that. this is all together. Off this. Give me that, give me that one more night. Give me that before you go. Give me that, give me that one more night. Hey. And the colleague say so come a dick. Wahana gal dilly so come a dick. So my hano let us so you gum a dick. And I kaga hat another so you gum a dick. That's the bass. I really, I would love to play guitar and I'm thinking about learning it because I really want to get some self-made bass lines in. But since you can change the, the keys and the speed in this arcade so much, no matter if somebody used it before, music has always been like recycled and redone. And this kind of variation, people won't even realize. There was beats where I, as a producer, heard like, hey, you use the same thing as I did. And then I showed the other producer like, hey, this is the part in the song where I meant to use the same thing and the guy didn't even realize. So it's mostly just like, sometimes you hear it, sometimes you don't, but it doesn't matter. As long as it works, you're on the right track. So people, um, back to the chorus. In the chorus, I used a different kind of bass. I used the Omnisphere again to have that trappy kind of um, sub. And as you can see, when you go deep with the bass here, it really, you can still hear the mid frequencies very loud and very clearly, and it gives you the trappy kind of like, I know this shit from trap. Um, the bass, I just love this kind of bass. And the way the two part together, it's perfect. You always have to make sure the loudness of the bass is not too loud, because just because you turn up the bass, it doesn't mean that your song will sound bassy good after. A good bass should be like, half as loud as the snare and the snare is usually the rhythm leader and the kick is one of the most important so you gotta side chain the kick to the bass to get the full 
like kind of um, let's say to get the um, bass bumping but when the kick is kicking it's there the bass is not troubling the kick you know what I mean so you can google sidechain in any kind of program you use it's possible in every every program you usually use a compressor and then you can see it even here give me that, give me that one more night. As give me that becomes. before you go give me that give me that one more night. as you can see around here before you go give me that give me this is when the bass is playing the kick is kind of cutting out um bass give me that. in those frequencies for it not to trouble each other so as you can hear the vocal is on and that's already actually all of the beat i mean it took like 35 minutes to explain it but that's all of it so people i hope you enjoy uh, make sure you stick up to producing what I would suggest you guys produce every day even if the beats are not sounding that nice there's always good days and bad days when it comes to creativity but stick up and after like one and a half years two years and um, depends on your skills already you will have a, such a big development in your skills that you will be proud of yourself I'm telling you I promise if you stick up to the game the game is gonna you're gonna benefit from the game. So let me play the whole thing together. part at the end which I know it was the flute part which I added up and it was like the instrumental part where Balil had the second verse and the second chorus done and <laughs> arcade use the arcade as much as you want um, I used like already I think five lanes of arcade here different kind of instruments but it's the samples they as, as you can see here it's again like G minor the samples just sound dope you can stretch them in time like here the beat is 106 BPM so everything was like um, a touch to the time plus the key was on uh, inside already set so it was like really just an easy thing <laughs> And as you can hear, I even added up more stuff because at the instrumental part for the end, I wanted to have like a like a little bit epic, more epic um, outro. And I just went to arcade again, found some kind of Indian sitar or Arabic sitar. And the funny thing was when I, heard, I added this after we recorded the song, the flute and the sitar, I added it after. And it was already even doing the same kind of melodies that little by little it was just supporting him because it seems like it just fits together. And as, as you can see, this is my piano roll. Um, it's sometimes I have to put a little offbeat to have the special groove for especially Afro beats or stuff. But yo, I tell you, just don't get too complicated. As you can see, I'm repeating, 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 and at the end of the bar, I'm doing, I'm doing something special. And that sounds like somebody just came fresh with the C tower and played it out, and we were struggling a, a long time to get it in. From the rhythm no it was just an easy thing i think i took for all the beat i took like an hour and a half yo guys i'll tell you it makes sense to buy this arcade it makes sense to get the omnisphere and it makes sense to get the chord maker it will help you so much i tell you i promise you if you're gonna buy this stuff and i'm not working for these companies i'm just like a producer and i want you guys to have success you gonna have a nice time playing around with these things so yeah all in all together I have 
have to admit, I used the arcade, but uh, I kind of um, freeze the files and uh, export it to a special wave line. So actually this. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. One more nine, one more nine. Give me that, give me that. The outro, that's my favorite part of the song because the song ends and the way the, the, the outro is epic, you want to play the song right from start. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna take some time and then I'll explain the vocal mixing to you guys because I feel like after this long, long beat tutorial video, it's gonna take too long to explain the vocal mixing I do. I'm gonna do a special video for you guys just for the vocal mixing in general, and I guess it's gonna come up in one week or something when I have time again. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you follow, like, do anything to this channel which is positive you know what i mean and i promise we got a next banger in the making um it's c black and little by little coming up i'm not gonna announce the title yet because this is gonna be something special international we say yo people it was a pleasure it's your boy c black out there yo see you soon boom I'm <laughs> sorry.